In the headlines, the first hurricane in the Atlantic hurricane season has been formed. Sufre MP updates on housing infrastructural developments in her constituency and the first 91 houses in Belleville Chopin to be handed over by the end of August. Thanks for joining us on the weekend edition of National Focus. I am Kimani Seja. Stay tuned for details of the headline stories and others coming up. Welcome back. The first hurricane for the 2018 hurricane season in the Atlantic has been formed. At 5 a.m. on Friday morning, the center of Hurricane Beryl was located near latitude 10.6 north, longitude 45.1 west, or about 1,140 miles east-southeast of the Lesser Antilles. By 2 p.m. on Friday, Deputy Prime Minister Honorable Reginald Austri informed the nation that at 5 p.m. on Friday, Dominica would be placed under a hurricane watch. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible within the watch area within 48 hours. By 11 a.m. on Friday, Beryl was located near latitude 10.7 degrees north and longitude 46.5 degrees west, or about 913 miles east-southeast of Dominica. At the time, Beryl continued to move west at 15 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of near 80 miles per hour. Beryl is expected to approach the Lesser Antilles over the weekend and cross the island chain late Sunday into Monday. Residents of Dominica are advised to continue to use credible sources to monitor the system. Deterioration in weather conditions is expected across Dominica by Saturday night, increasing to widespread moderate to heavy showers, thunderstorms and gusty winds to hurricane-forced winds by Sunday afternoon into Monday. Current rainfall amount expected for Dominica is between 6 to 12 inches of rain with higher amounts in elevated areas. In more news, the Honourable Member of Parliament for the Sufra constituency, Dennis Charles, is pleased to announce the progress taking place in her constituency post-Hurricane Maria. During a meeting with the residents of Sufra on Thursday, the Honourable Member of Parliament informed that to date, over $2.3 million have been spent in that community for housing. She detailed that after the passage of Hurricane Maria in September last year, 47 constituents were made homeless in Sufra and 147 lost their roofs. She gave an update on measures taken by government to address the housing situation in that community. Our housing program is split in two parts. We have the housing repair program, which under that program, we have so far reconstructed about 50 roofs. We have given assistance to over 30 families who to replace broken windows and doors. And we, are, we have commenced, we have funding for about 10 homes, and we have so far commenced six homes. And the homes are under the housing reconstruction program. The second phase of the program is for those of you who do not have land and you still need a home. So the government, we are in the process of acquiring land um, higher up by the Sulphur Spring, not, not as far as the Sulphur Spring, just before there by Oxley area. And we hope to negotiate with the private citizens who own this land so we can acquire it for a housing program like we did in Union Estate Point Mission. Honorable Charles noted that the rehabilitation of roads in the constituency is a priority for government. She says the Point Michel to Soufrier Road will be rehabilitated. Also on the cards is the construction of a bridge in Soufrier. I received news um, from public works that the Moroccans are expecting them to visit our island anytime soon and they will be responsible for doing a total assessment of the roads in the Soufrier constituency. I'm really thankful also that the bridge to the church has started. I know many of, many of you were calling me daily on that matter. So I'm happy that Lindy, Claude Andrew, somebody from Supra himself, a contractor, is the one constructing the Supra bridge. 
Honorable Charles was speaking at a meeting where the developers of Jungle Bay Resort and Spa and the Petit Colibri met to discuss the way forward with residents. Work on the housing scheme for Petit Savan residents is close to completion and the Honorable Minister for Housing, Prime Minister Roosevelt Scarrett, says the first set of homes will be ready to be handed over by the end of August. We visited the Bellevue Chopin housing development and the project is well on its way again. As you know, we were interrupted by the, by the, by the hurricane. But we've started to, to paint, uh, we started to tile the windows in, in some buildings and it is, the, it is expected that we will have the first 91 uh, residences, residential units ready mm -hmm. uh, for handing over on August 31. Um, so, and then you'll have a second um, set of units ready in October and the final set in December of this year. The housing minister was speaking on focus on government and development late last month. He expressed satisfaction with the houses that will be delivered to the people of Petit Savan who have been displaced since 2015 after Tropical Storm Erica made their community uninhabitable. You see those homes and they're very well constructed, very well designed. The floor space is, 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 is adequate, the room sizes are, are great. You know, um, this is a really wonderful, it is a really wonderful development and I look forward to, to, to really seeing the residents in there and, and, and back in, into a country life as many of them are missing the country life. And I want to thank them for their, for their patience and of course the leadership of Dr. Daru in that regard. Families from Bellevue Chopin and Pichley who have housing challenges will also receive homes in the new housing scheme. We have um, increased the number of residential units, so we'll be catering for an increased number of, of um, residents from Pichley. So quite a number of families uh, will benefit. So you're talking about about 400 plus families will benefit from this development when, when it is completed. Prime Minister Skerritt informed that work has started in various stages on housing units in the communities of La Plaine, Dalis, Castle Bruce and San Sauvé, while the acquisition of land will soon be finalized in Grand Fond and Massac. Contracts have been signed for St. Joseph, Glanvillea and Cotton Hill. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. Welcome back. Developers of Jungle Bay Resort and Spa and Grand Colibri Sofre met with residents on Thursday to listen to their concerns. Jungle Bay Resort and Spa, which was located in Dallas, was destroyed after the passage of Tropical Storm Erica in 2015. For the reconstruction of this resort, 20 acres of land was acquired in Mon Akuma Sofre. This project is also financed by the Citizenship by Investment Program. The Honorable Member of Parliament for the Sufre constituency, Dennis Charles, says the Sufre has the potential to become the tourism mecca of Dominica. While addressing the residents, Honorable Charles implored residents to work together to keep the community clean due to ongoing tourism activities in the communities. Each of us have to play our role in keeping Sufre clean and green and sparkling because we have the, some of the best sites here. We are known for our best for the, one of the best dive spots. We have Bubble Beach Spa. We have the Sulphur Springs, which we have to re re redevelop. We have Scott's Head, which is excellent viewpoint, and the mount and the beach there. We have great things we can do. Currently, 100 persons are employed in the construction process of this hotel. Developer Sam Raphael told the residents on the completion of this resort over 130 individuals will be employed permanently. Fortunately, during the construction, we've been able to create a livelihood. I know that the hurricane passed and maybe there's a lot of work in construction. And so, you know, they may have gotten a job anyway, but before the storm, it, was, it wasn't so easy. Huh? And then after this recovery pass, again, you're not going to have sustainable jobs in the community. So after the, 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 the hotel opens, and by the end of next year, you're going to have maybe 130, 140 permanent jobs. And it's all fellas that they're now, but a lot of the women in Sufri, we will be looking for you. You could have whole construction, you know, but a lot of you decide you don't want to damage your nails, you're not working construction. <laughs> but 
you may want something else, but we have a lot of opportunities all across the hotel, from the front desk to housekeeping to food and beverage. Raphael also called on residents to keep the environment clean as this will play a key role in the further development of the community. But I have to touch on the matter that was raised with respect to the litter, the garbage. That scares me. After all this investment, that scares me. In that social media, Someone comes in and see that garbage going on. I went by Dale's place one time. I never told you that Dale. That's the last time I went there. When I look in that ravine, I walk from your place and I walk in that ravine and I saw the garbage there, I said, I'm not going back in that. I said that. Me, myself. That's a confession. Imagine what a visitor think when they see that. These new developments are expected to bring an economic boost to that part of the island. While the old Jungle Bay Resort and Spa had 35 cottages, there are plans for 60 eco-villas in this new property. The resort is expected to open its doors on March 1, 2019. And finally, the communities of Kualiho, Dubla and Biosh have received an additional $1.2 million for roof repairs of houses as government continues to assist citizens to repair their homes. 38 people will benefit in Kualiho, while 35 of the communities of Dubla and Biosh will receive assistance. The Honorable Member of Parliament for the Kualiho constituency, Lady Catherine Daniel, delivered the check on Friday. I want at this point to say thank you very much to the Prime Minister, Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, who has made these funds available. I mean, nowhere in the history of the world or in the Caribbean has any government taken on itself after a hurricane devastation to assist its people. And, you know, I think our people should be very thankful. But what I'm admonishing people to do is to utilize this money wisely. You are given this money for your house, use it for your house. Those of you who have to, it's for roof, some people for windows, some people for doors. Please use it that way. The Collio constituency has already received $1.1 million to assist members of the community to repair their homes. And what I want to say to the rest of the Collio people, this is not the end of it. We are going in phases. This is the turn of this 38. So the others, you will get yours in the next tranche. And that's the English segment of the news. Shakira Pair is up next with Creole Highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel aquéol, non moins c'est Shakira Pair. Premier ministre, Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Scary, joint épidote, chef pays en Caraïbla en Jamaica pour 29 meeting pour chef gouvernement en Caraïbla. En meeting sala, attention te meeting à sous Caricom, single market et puis economy la. Pendant que vous avez cette cérémonie, le chef Nef la pour Caricom, le premier ministre de la Haute Jamaica, Honorable Andrew Holness, dit que le 45e anniversaire de Caricom, c'est le meilleur temps pour garder l'institution là, quand il y a un process. Holness dit que le 45e anniversaire de Caricom, c'est ni un lot de succès, mais il y a un lot de challenge aussi. Si SME, c'est seulement initiative là qui te chen, c'est chef pays là ensemble, mais pour que si SME là pas ensemble et puis aspiration mam pays. Chef Caricom Nef la dit tout chef gouvernement à Caribla si posé mette plan en place pour faire intégration régionale bien effective pour faire la vie meilleure bas tout. Ce sujet là qui est discuté par la meeting salle là, c'est Quim et puis Security à Wager là. Et puis, manière pour faire ce pays la Caraïbla pour un changement climatique. À d'autres nouvelles, l'aide à un meeting pour place à l'ordre pour adresser les concerns et puis pour taper les informations de la communauté là, quand il geothermal plant qui a bâti à Rose Valley là. Résidents en ce village là, qui est à Rose Valley, tapent le commitment qui a mis des commissions en place pour baisser l'impact de la geothermal plant là. Resident Loda tenía la oportunidad para discutir con la compañía Geothermal Dominic con el efecto de la construcción de la geothermal planta. 
impact sala and different categories say impact and guave impact ki page guave tous les six mois il ke ni a process pour faire cette il parle pièce changement à habitat là yo aussi ka fait assessment à toute place en vallée là pour faire cette yo manager yo bon environnement pour communauté là Residents qui parlent quand FLA a sous par la construction là, tapé Power qui compagnie là qui a fait cette musique qui mette en place pour problème ça là. Assessment là qui avait là tout à l'heure, bah public là a sous website compagnie là. Il y a une cérémonie pour place à observation en dépendance là, la flèche mette pour Simon Boulevard en Goodwill. Mam cabinet est aussi présent pour cérémonie sala et puis pour célébrer et puis officiel People Republic of Venezuela. Deputy Premier Ministre Honorable Reginald Austri a donné ces cérémonies là. Honorable Austri prend opportunité là pour complimenter Pep Venezuela à son occasion là dès sept l'année indépendance. Il aussi remercie yo pour si pot là yo kaba Dominic spécialement en temps des as naturel. Au code gouvernement, Honorable Oshri fait un promet pour toujours debout et puis Venezuela à mouvé taille. À ce occasion, à l'indépendance, l'ambassade de Venezuela pour Dominique, His Excellency Hayden Pirella, a doué ces cérémonies-là et puis parlé contre ça qui a pris place à Venezuela actuellement. His Excellency Pirella a créé pour la paix entre les nations et puis pris opportunité là pour remercier les Caraïbes là pour si pour la Yuba Venezuela à mauvais temps la yote ni la. Il aussi remercie le Premier ministre Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt spécialement pour si pour la Yuba ba pays la à Forum International. Ça c'est tout pour Nouvelle Acquayol, nous sommes chaque Européen. Nous avons un bon week-end. Au revoir. Barely two months into the hurricane season, the island is expected to weather a storm this weekend. Now is an opportune time to go over your list and ensure that everything you need to be prepared is taken care of. Dried foods and enough water for at least three days. It's advisable to store one gallon of water per day per person in your household. Ensure that all important documents are secured. Ensure that all prescribed medication and first aid kits are readily available in case of an emergency. If your home is not safe, now is the time to find a hurricane shelter closest to you. You can visit our Facebook page for an updated list of hurricane shelters. Also stay tuned to GIS this weekend to follow updates on hurricane burial. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS on Facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica and also follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I am Kimani Seja. Thanks for watching and stay safe this weekend. <music>